everyone was like, oh, we want our money Ooh. back, boo. You just saw a flying elephant. <laughs> Greetings! I'm Edis. And I'm Ben. And today we're reviewing the new live action Dumbo movie. Yaha! Uh-huh. So you've not seen the original one? Mm. Nope. I the haven't. animated one? No. So yeah, this is how we're approaching this review. He's never seen the original. I adore the original. It like is my whole childhood, that first film. So yeah, I had high expectations for this. A lot of pressure. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it was directed by Tim Burton. Which I was kind of excited for, because I thought, oh, let's see what this new twist that he puts on it. Yeah, there wasn't really a twist, though. No, it didn't really. There were moments where it seemed like a, a Tim Burton film, when they got to the big circus at the end, perhaps, those kind of visuals. Yeah, the, the yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, but generally speaking, it, I didn't feel like it really had his stamp on it. No. Like Edward Scissorhands, Beetlejuice, Nightmare Before Christmas, mm-hmm. even Alice in Wonderland. Headless Horseman, that's him as well, isn't it? Uh, Sleepy Hollow, yeah. That's what I meant. Um... Yeah, they've all got that sort of dark, twisted side to it. And I didn't necessarily want a dark Dumbo, but I thought there would be a sort of... For the reason for picking him is that he's... Yeah, he's going to put some like, twisted flair but on But he it. hasn't. No, it wasn't It wasn't really... Um, no, it didn't really come across like that. Let's start off by talking about the cast. So, um, quite a decent cast, Yeah, I didn't right? realise until they are just like, oh. Well, Tim Burton loves using actors again and again, so he's... Yeah. Got we got Danny DeVito and uh, Michael Keaton oh, back from Batman. Batman's him as well. The Penguin and I didn't Batman. realise. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. So that's cool. I thought they were the best things in it. Yes, Danny DeVito. I warmed into him. I didn't actually love him sure. to get go. Yeah, but I love his little um, rule number one. Reminded me of um, Hercules game. Or Hercules in general, right? Oh yeah, and Hercules. <laughs> Danny DeVito was good Michael Keaton I thought was great yeah when he so he's not in the first sort of half of the film when he comes into it it kind of brings some more life yeah. into, into the, into it, the film. he kind of brings that quirkiness I guess yeah uh, and also Colin Farrell 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 Farrell, Farrell. Colin Farrell, Farrell. Uh, who I thought was great I want to know how they did the one arm thing did he have like a green yeah. screen like or maybe he glove had on it. the whole time yeah maybe it was interesting actually what does that part play to the film Okay, so I think this was my one of my main problems with the film. The original, it's all about the animals. Dumbo is the lead character. Right. Whereas in this film, who's the lead? Colin. Bell. Colin, maybe? Maybe. Two kids. The two kids. It's kind of all focused on the, the human characters. So to keep it the same, we've got Dumbo with his big ears. That's the thing that's holding him down. So they've paralleled that with Colin Farrell, who's got one arm. That's the thing that's holding him down. He's visually... Um, a freak, that's, that's, if you yeah. will. Then you've got the kids who have lost their mum, yeah. just how Dumbo loses his mum. It's like a parallel between them, do you know what I mean? Yeah. The, the no. physical thing is going to go to Colin Farrell, the, the emotional sort of parent thing is going to go to the kids. kids. But it's very unnecessary. I, I felt like most of the human characters were unnecessary. So that's not in the original, so they don't lose their mum in the original, they don't... There are no characters in the original. There are no human characters. Oh. The only human character that's actually relevant is the ringmaster. Danny DeVito's character. Ah. There's no kids in it. Ah. The only kids in it are the ones that are like, man, look at your big ears. Right. So, also... Who does Dumbo and that talk in the film? Uh, so all, all the animals do talk. Talk, ah. Apart from Dumbo. Dumbo doesn't talk? No. I feel like you need to watch Dumbo. I need to watch Dumbo. Dumbo. We'll do a video of you watching it yeah. and we can talk about Dumbo because... I'm very passionate about it. Yeah, it's his favourite. I think it's just... Well, it's one of his favourites. It's one of the greatest animated things of all time. Oh, that's a statement. That is a statement, because... Oh, we just have to watch it, and you'll see why. Okay. <laughs> we'll put a link for that video when we've done it at some point, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the last character. Evergreen. Mm-hmm. I think she's great. I think she's a great actress. She's like this aerial aerialist... There's so many characters that you don't connect to any of them. Like, they kind of just become irrelevant. And I feel like the main focus should be Dumbo, but it's not. All, okay, aside from Danny DeVito and Michael Keaton, all the characters are so dull. Like, the kids are boring. Yeah. I don't root for the kids, because you want to you wanna see them with a sense of, like, fun and enjoyment. Think of, like, family films from the 90s, like Dunstan Checks In or, or Home Alone. Those kids have so much character energy. and energy that you're rooting for them. Yeah. These kids were so serious. That whole film was quite serious. Yeah. Serious black. 
So the film opens with a long sequence with the train, right? The longest sequence of the train. Why? I really liked it. Oh, damn. Because it was reminiscent, it was nostalgia of the first ones. We had Casey Jr. To be fair, it, the Casey Jr. in this looked a little bit scary with Who's the face. Casey Jr.? The train. The train's a, 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 a animation. Yeah. Great. <laughs> but in this, it just had, like, a face on the front, like, uh, uh. But when it started, for me, I was like, oh, actually, I'm, maybe I'm going to love this. And there was lots of little references throughout the film to the original, like, you had a little mouse cage and there was right at the beginning. So just after we'd seen Casey Jr., we then saw a mouse in the little sort of red uniform. Yeah, so I knew that there's Dumbo's mouse, Elephant and the Mouse. Timothy, like thing. Yeah. mouse, yeah. Not, no mention of him really. Well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I thought he was, oh cool, he's going to be like a main character. Nope. You ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Obviously they're taking their time to, you know, make these characters up and stuff. But you don't actually care about any of the characters or they don't kind of go into the circus world of like these crazy acts it's like it's just kind of boring that's what the film's missing a sense of fun the kids aren't fun well maybe the dad is no the dad's not fun well we're in the circus maybe these other characters are going to be fun no just everyone's just really they serious they just sat around the campfire and they're just like playing like the yeah and so they they have references to the songs like she sings baby mine but it just doesn't have the same emotional impact that it does in the first film because you I just didn't care there's like strong man. I don't have a clue whether he's meant to be a joke or if he's actually a strong man. Yeah. There's one minute he's like lifting weight and he's like, ah, I'm strong. And then it's like super light. He like, like throws it at someone else and he catches it. And then one minute he's like bearing open these like metal bo- like bars. It was confusing. So is he strong? To be fair, he actually had some of the biggest laughs. Yeah. And when I say laughs, it was more like, ha. Huh. <laughs> But I appreciated it. Yeah. The whole film visually was amazing. Yeah. Really. Yeah, the elephant looked great. The elephant was insane. Yeah. We could have probably had more anim- animation in his face. Yeah. What's hard is they're going for the... With these live action films, they're going for the super realistic um, sort of effects. But with that, I feel like you lose some of the expression that you get mm. from the original. Can we also talk about the reactions of just the general mm. characters about what's going on? There's one bit... They're at like the steam parks, whatever that, and the, the Dumbo like runs past everyone, and they're like, "Oh, move out the way." Yeah, I feel like that was almost an exaggeration. That was it was more just like, "Oh, an elephant." Like, it's an elephant just chilling. Like, if I, if an elephant just ran past the street, I'd be like, "What the?" <laughs> and there was a bit where the elephant flew oh. around the the circus, and then it left, and everyone was like. Oh, we want our money back, boo. You just saw a flying elephant. (laughs) I don't care if it flew for five seconds or half an hour. I'm going to be on my feet applauding that. It was... Moments. Moments of... It was two hours of moments. I think as a whole, I'm guessing if you've seen the film before, it's still enjoyable to watch, you know, after all these years and see it live, animation. There were moments that I really enjoyed. Yeah. Um, and brought that that nostalgia and it's cool to see how they reworked it it was just so long and I didn't care about any of the characters and I feel that's a real shame it needed more fun it wasn't fun where are the jokes (laughs) so as someone who'd never seen the original you're treating this as a standalone film do you recommend it? yeah I enjoyed it it was like (laughs) It was. Don't sound too happy about uh, it. <laughs> I like. I'm not like. Oh, what a waste of time. Like it was still a no, sweet film. It like, was it's nice. Sure. It was nice. It was unnecessarily long. It could probably be like half an hour shorter. Yeah, top. Down. But, um, but yeah, it's cool. It's a nice film. Would you recommend this film to anyone? No. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. It was. I didn't hate it. I was just a bit bored at the end because uh, when you just know how good it can be and how special it is and you just don't get those same emotions from watching it um and the main thing is the fun i wanted to enjoy it more and it was just so serious and so we we did also have a one-year-old next to us like who's that bitch that's dumbo (laughs) who's that still dumbo where's dumbo (laughs) that that that's dumbo and this is we're not obviously talking to it him her, him, it, it, little one year old. 
God. Don't take a one-year-old to the cinema. <laughs> oh my gosh! At first we're like, "Oh, this baby's so cute." Literally so cute. Who's that? It's Dumbo. No, oh, I doesn't oh. know who Dumbo is. An hour in. <laughs> Where's Dumbo? <laughs> the end. You've just seen. Yeah, literally the right end at the end of the film. <laughs> Where's Dumbo? Two man? hours in. <laughs> oh my gosh! It's the big one, Dumbo. <laughs> So that was our review of the new Dumbo film. I felt like we were really negative about it, but it is a nice yeah. film. It's nice. It's nice. <laughs> so please, if you've seen it, let us know what you thought of it. I'm yeah. intrigued to know if anyone else shared our views or if you loved it, hated it. Let us know. Don't forget to like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> My elephant sounded like a horse. <laughs>